Chisanga Malata here, the Daily Star and Daily Express. And today, my guest is a very special guest, uh, a recent inductee into the UFC Hall of Fame. Uh, and of course, the person I'm talking about is former welterweight and middleweight champion, George St. Pierre. George, how are you doing today? Doing fantastic. Thank you. Yourself? I'm well, thank you. I'm well, thank you. Just uh, still trying to get to grips with this global lockdown, which is slightly beginning to ease in the UK. But uh, yeah, still trying to get to grips with it. So how have the last five months um, and lockdown in, uh, in Canada been for yourself and been for your family? Well, everybody is safe and healthy. And um, yeah, I, I cannot complain. There's people that are way way less um, um, organized and have much less uh, resources than I do. So I, I don't have the right to complain. I'm, I'm just happy and healthy. Mm -hmm. That's good. And today we're, we're here to talk about your involvement with uh, TV, uh, TV.fit in particular, their strike class. But uh, I wanted to ask you about your own training because the global pandemic has, has closed, uh, led to the closure of many gyms ac across, the, across the globe. How has the lockdown and the closures of gyms affected your own personal training routine? Because I know you, you like to train year round. You don't like to take extended breaks. Yeah, um, I train a year around and, and now uh, it's illegal because you can't train with social distancing in mar martial art, you know, so it's impossible. So what I do is I, I find ways it, uh, with, cre with creativity to develop uh, a, a training that is uh, that would be uh, more resembling of what I do normally. Mm -hmm. OK, I see. And um like yourself, many people around the world have had their ability to train safely taken away from them because of this pandemic and now are relying on online classes and uh, online programs to stay in shape, which brings me to your involvement with TV.fit and the strike class. Um, how did you get involved with this project? Yeah, the, the, um, what I like about this pro project and how I got involved is, is exactly it's, it's perfectly su suited for this situation that we're facing now. Um, you have to keep social distancing and what, what the program, uh, strike is about is a, a, a certain replica of all the, the training that I do in, uh, my mixed martial art journey. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, you can do it yourself, uh, at home, you don't need any partners and it's, uh, it's also, it keep you fit and it teach you how to fight as well. Okay, and has helping and inspiring people get fit and to reach their potential, has that been something that you've always been interested in? I think I, I, uh, for me it's important to use my platform in a way to use people. And the best way I can use people because of my credential is to, uh, teach, them how, to teach them about fitness, uh, keep them fit. My, my keep my audience fit and also teach them how to fight and that's what my program on tv.fit is about and my the program strike mm -hmm. and can you uh, tell tell us a little bit more about the the strike class so i'm assuming as you said it incorporates fitness drills and and boxing and maybe some kickboxing drills what else does it encompass it, it, it incorporate all, also a lot of uh, fitness exercise and also uh, ground uh, work, uh, exercise that, that are uh, a replica of a certain move that we use uh, on the ground uh, when, when you're fighting in a mixed martial art competition. Okay, that's, that, that's, that's pretty unique. And I, I'm pretty sure it's the first that, that I've heard of it, like uh, uh, a mixed martial arts uh, on, online class that includes uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu as well. So that's, that's very good for, especially for people that might be a bit reluctant to set foot in, make, in martial arts gyms because a lot of people might be a bit intimidated or, or yeah, a bit scared to set foot into a martial arts gym. Do you think something like this will be a, a good gateway for them to get their confidence before setting foot in a gym if they're interested? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a pretty unique uh, program and um, it's, a, it's a mix of, uh, you know, sometimes when you work out, you just want to push yourself, but this is a little bit different because I, you, you're not, you don't, 
it's also a brain exercise in a way that you have to push yourself, but you have to think about your form, you know, to respect your form, keep your hands up. Mm-hmm. For example, there's different details that you need to keep in mind in order to, to, to do the workout well. And I explain all that during the workout uh, because it's, it's mixed martial art uh, workout. It's not mm-hmm. only a fitness workout. It's not only about pushing hard, it's about efficiency. And I teach my uh, audience how to be more efficient. And if you're more efficient, you become uh, a better athlete, a better fighter. And that's what it's about as well. So, um, and has, has this class made you all think about maybe getting into coaching? I know it's not, um, it, it's not the same as coaching in, in general, but has it made you think about it at all? Well, I think it's even better because when you're coaching, you're limited of how much people you can have in the room mm-hmm. and interact with them. With this program, I can coach the entire planet because it's <laughs> worldwide. I can have access to all my uh, a bigger audience, and that's what I love about it. And given the the global coronavirus pandemic and uh, a lot of people's fears about going back to the gym, do you think that a product like TV Fit and Strike could be the future of fitness? Absolutely, um, especially with the, the the global crisis, and also. Sometimes, even if things goes back to normal, sometimes you, you, you want to stay home mm-hmm. and you want to have a quick workout. Maybe you don't have time to do a, to go to the gym or maybe they, there's traffic or, or there is different uh, obstacle that, that made you want to stay home and you can use TV.fit, the, 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 the program, uh, strike uh, and, uh, to learn m- m- mixed martial art and to stay fit as well. Okay. And uh, moving moving on to yourself and how you how you've been keeping over the the last eighteen months since you uh, since you retired, how has life been for you since you officially announced your retirement from mixed martial arts? Well, uh, things I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm, I'm you know I'm working on many different projects as well. Um, so you know i i'm more busy than i ever been and uh, i always gonna stay healthy it's it's part of who i am and you you say that you're uh, you're more busier than than you've ever been um has having all the side projects that you talked about um has that made making the transition from full-time fighter to normal life a bit easier because a lot of fighters find it very difficult once they hang up their gloves to go back to a, a normal life I don't think my life will ever be normal. Uh, I uh, normal is is depend what you define by normal. If you if you work in a office, you do a nine to five. Uh, you know it, it, this is normal for a, a someone who works in an office. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe my my life is not normal in a way that I I don't do nine to five. I have my own schedule. I have, my, I have, I am my own boss. Of course, I do have responsibilities, but the reason I love what I do is because of the freedom that it gives me, mm-hmm. and that's why I was fighting in the first place. I was fighting not because I love to fight. I never liked to compete and fight. I, I did it because I wanted to acquire the freedom that I have right now, and that as I had a, a, a pri- I, I paid a price for that. And, and I'm happy it turns out well, but, um, yeah, I, my, my life will never be normal and I'm, and I'm happy and healthy. That's, that's what matter for me. And, and I can work on project that I want to work. And for me, this has, this, this has no price. And I'm very happy to the, all the brand that I'm associate with is because I'm, I willingly wanted to be associated with, because I mm-hmm. thought it was a good idea. And I believe in it. It's not only because of the money and this and that, you know, like it was before. Before I need all athletes when they they started, they they do things sometimes because of money and stuff. But now I I feel very privileged and happy to be able to have that that opportunity in my life to be to have the freedom and to do what I wanted to do with who I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And now that you've had some time to officially reflect on your well, your official retirement from mixed martial arts. How do you look back on your career and, and what you've achieved? Um, I'm very happy because I, I always wanted to be champion in 
in mix in mixed martial art when I started to compete it was an obsession for me I achieved it I, I also wanted to be a good role model uh, for the youth and I try my best to 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 stay authentic of who I am and to be a good role model as well and those things makes me very happy mm -hmm. and now prior to you announcing your your retirement in uh, not last February the, the previous February you made it known that you were interested in in going for one more belt and dropping down to 155 pounds and uh, fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov. Now, obviously, that fight didn't come to fruition, but Habib recently, uh, over the last few months, he's he's still expressed an interest in fighting you. Should he get past Justin Gaethje, does that at all tempt you to to just to call for us and John Danaher and just say let's do this one last time and try create history? Well, m more than two two years ago, I wanted to do it. We tried when I took my retirement. I think it's two years or more, a little bit more than two years ago. We try, but in business, when you make an offer, the offer is is now. You can't come back after two years and say, "Hey, finally, the offer you made me that I refused. Now I'm gonna take it." It doesn't mm -hmm. work like that, because now things I, I have move on. Things has changed. Um, UFC have have not made me an offer yet, and I, I'm I'm waiting. I, I I can't stop my life. Uh, in, in case that opportunity happen. So I live my life, I, I live, I, I work on my project. And if this opportunity comes, I'm going to have to reevaluate it and see if I still want to do it or not. Because mm -hmm. now I, I, I didn't put my life on pause since last time we, I tried to make the fight happen. And now I'm 39 years old and, you know, we'll see. I, I, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, but so far, I... I you know, I think Khabib is gonna fight just Justin Gaethje, and mm -hmm. we'll see what's gonna happen. And uh, moving on to that fight, uh, how do you think that fight is gonna play out? Because many people believe that it's gonna be arguably the toughest test of Khabib's career. Well, style makes fight. It's a very interesting contrast of style. You know, um, I. I I have Khabib as a favor for for that fight. I believe Khabib is the best fighter right now. Uh, he's the best active fighter in the world right now. Mm -hmm. He's the he's the best one right now, and, and probably he's, he's he's in the goat contention as well. And with this win, he's gonna solidify his uh, status as a you know as a goat. I, I believe he, he, you know, even if the goat discussion, it's like a fugazi. It, it doesn't. You know, there, there's no, it's like disgusting, uh, the, 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 the possibility of how Batman will beat Superman and things like <laughs> that. It's, it's, a, it's an illusion because yeah. when you fight someone, you never fight the same fighter twice because a fight leaves a scar, which is physical or mental. It can make you more confident, can increase your, your, your level, or it can decrease it. So... I don't know what to think about it. It's going to be an interesting fight. And of course, as a fan, I, I'm looking forward to watch it. Okay. And you, 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 you raised an interesting point there, which I was going to ask you. It, it seems that, especially in mixed martial arts, that the debate of greatest of all time continues to rage on all and the chops and it changes a lot. But many people rank you at, at the top of the list. Is this something that you pay attention to? All I, 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 I kind of get the idea that you don't because you also said just there that the uh, the goat concept is somewhat fugazi. Well, it, it's very um, appealing for me to 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 say yes, but the truth is, to be honest with you, the fighters of of today generally are better than the fighters of yesterday, and mm -hmm. the fighters of tomorrow will be better than the fighters of today. The, the record has, has, are made to be broken. And it's not because the person are better, it's because the technology is better. I remember right. when I used to train, at when I first learned Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I needed to be uh, physically present in the class to learn the technique. I needed to be there physically to learn it. Now, just for example, with the TV.fit or to, with other ways, you can learn a technique via YouTube, via yeah. the social media. 
So you can increase your knowledge without being physically there. And this is something that wasn't possible when I was young. I mean, it was possible, but it was not done. So that's just one of the reasons why the, the athlete has better results. The performances are better, but the person are not necessarily better. And that's what I believe the, 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 the record are made to be broken because of the technology. The technology made the performance better. Mm -hmm. And go, going back to the, the, the potential Habib Nurmagomedov fight, like I, I, I know you wanted that before you hung up your gloves. And considering how close it, it potentially is, will you be, well, would you be satisfied with your career if you didn't, have, if you didn't take the opportunity to, to become a three-weight world champion? Um, yeah, I, 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 I am satisfied, um, but I always be a competitor, you know, like, like even now I'm watching the fight sometime, I'm like, man, maybe I can go back and beat these guys. And, but that, you know, I, 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 it's, it's like a wave. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like I want to do it. Sometimes I, I go home and I'm like, what the, what I'm talking about, like this <laughs> nonsense, I'm not going to go back and fight You know, it's so stressful because I never really liked to fight. I like to win. I like to to the the to achieve the achievement. But in order to achieve, to you know, the bigger the risk, bigger bigger the risk, bigger bigger the, the big bigger the reward. Mm -hmm. And you need it's a very tough game, and not only physically, it's on the mental side. It's a lot of stress, and I don't know if I'm. I will have to re reevaluate the situation. Uh, I was ready to do it. Two years ago, but now I, if UFC have not come back to me, I, I, I don't believe they will because I believe they have maybe other agenda uh, to other people they want Khabib to fight before me. I think I will be really the last, uh, the last person on the list who they would like to fight. I mean, they, they would rather, I'm sure, have Connor or someone else mm -hmm. to keep the ball rolling in the organization. And I understand that on a business standpoint. Okay, and in May you were, well, in, in my opinion, you were belatedly inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. Can you tell me what that feeling was like when when the announcement was made and you, you got told that you're being in, inducted into the Hall of Fame? Why, it's, it's an amazing honor uh, for me to, to be at the Hall of Fame. Uh, it's a it's a recap of my of my career and and. You know, it's a, it's a great, the greatest honor an athlete can have once he retired. And uh, if, if you don't mind me asking, I, I, I was just wondering if I could get your opinion on the current state of the welterweight division. Because over here in England, we have a guy in Leon Edwards who's very, very close to a title shot. What's your thoughts on Leon as a contender for the welterweight title? Yeah, I would like to see. I'm a big fan of uh, Leon Edwards. He's a very good fighter. I would like him to see fight uh, Jorge Masvidal. I think they had a, a grudge with each other, and I, I think it will make a good fight because the, the fight, the promotion are driven by emotion, mm -hmm. but the fight itself is won by mundane things that people do every day of their life. So... It will be an interesting fight. I re uh, as a fan, I, I wish you would get that fight. Okay, George, that's the final question for me. Thank you very much for taking the time. No. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And uh, congratulations on, on the new endeavor. And if we see you back in the cage, we look forward to it. Thank you very much. Take care. Yeah.